much by De Jesus, who was a brilliant fighter, brilliant technician, and would give Duran trouble again. Uh, but in Duran, Duran simply didn't train for the fight, so the, the notion of who was going to beat Duran, we began to understand then. Duran could beat Duran, just as we learned many years later about Tyson, that the guy that really beat Tyson was Tyson. So we see an out of shape Duran, it's an over the weight fight. Um, the hunger has been for, replaced by a hunger for the good life. Yeah, the good, well, the money starts to flow. The, not the, only the money, but all the stuff that goes with it, the, the clubs, the people, you know, as soon as you get money, you find, as a fighter, you find out you don't have to spend any. Everybody wants to buy you dinner. Everybody wants to buy you drinks. Everybody wants to send over the most beautiful women and the, blessed, the, the best uh, conga players to hang out with you. Jack Hurley, the old yes. fight promoter, said that giving money to a fighter was like putting silk stockings on a sow. That <laughs> you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do it. It, it ruins them. So he was not as the lean and ferocious Duran that, 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 that he had, we had seen up to that moment when he fights uh, Dan. Well, they don't want to what speak English. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. I'll be here to enforce these rules, and you must obey them. Is this understood? Luis Enriquez is interpreting. Three knockdowns and one round will automatically end the contest. I do warn you now, if there are any illegal blows, you will lose the round. Do you understand this? Good luck to both of you. Come out boxing. The 10 round non title bout. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. Scoring in New York on a round basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even on an official's card, the referee and two judges both vote. Round one, the mandatory eight count is in effect. The three knockdown rule, as Arthur told us. And the count continues at the bell, except at the last round. If a man is floored at or near the bell, he must get up before the count of 10 or he is considered counted out. The boys are about equal in height at five feet seven. Duran is wearing the uh, darker trunks if you're looking in black and white, or the green and white trunks if you're looking in color. Esteban de Jesus, the uh, colored trunks, the blue and the white. Either boy could end this fight with one punch. Both have terrific records, and there is Duran down, believe it or not. And he is smiling, grimacing. The champion flat on his pants in round one. And we have more than two minutes to go from that left hook. And that brought them up. For what it's worth, Duran is five pounds heavier than when he knocked out Buchanan to win the title. I told you, either one of them could end it with one punch. And it was almost a Jesus. Well, that caused a little excitement here at the garden. Another hard left hook by De Jesus. I think Duran is in trouble, although he's trying to fight his way out of it. About a minute to go in round one. Now the cobwebs may be clearing in Duran's head. He sure was caught. And he is taking the offensive. Arthur, Arthur McCanty, a good referee, gets him apart. De Jesus is known as a boxer puncher. And Duran is a puncher all the way. About 10 seconds to go in round one here at Madison Square Garden. You 
watching Roberto Duran that time. Come to at Madison Square Garden. Seem to have double bell action here tonight. De Jesus was very close to winning that bout in round one. And the blue and white trunks. Duran and the green trunks are the dark trunks with the white border and the white stripes. Duran came wide open in that first round and took that left hook that dumped him on his pants. He took the mandatory eight count. Towards the end of the round, Duran was looking all right. As you'll notice, De Jesus has good moves. He's an intelligent boxer. Duran is the puncher, as you saw in his bouts with Penny Wertaus, whom he knocked out in one round here, and Kenny Buchanan, whom he stopped in 13. De Jesus is scoring heavily with that right hand. He's been leading with it, and so has Duran. Duran will lead with the right very often. And now Duran is taking charge with round two about half over. I don't have to say anything. The picture tells the story. It is some fight. The lightweight title is not at stake. Both boys well over the lightweight limit in this non-title bout. De Jesus 138, Duran 137 and a half. A minute to go in this round. Now Duran is swarming all over De Jesus as he did over Buchanan. Cutting off his punches. We see that De Jesus, De Jesus likes punching room. Duran won't give it to him if he can help it. De Jesus scored heavily there. In the corner, nobody landed a solid punch. About 10 seconds to go in round two. We're in the corner of the lightweight champion of the world, Roberto Duran, and now we're moving over to the other side of the ring. In Duran's corner, we have the great American trainer, Ray Arcel, who handles so many of the opponents of the great Joe Lewis. This trainer, Neste, Nestor Quinones, with his back to us. Freddie Brown, also an American trainer. And Luis Enriquez, his interpreter, whom you heard earlier during the instructions, is on the outside of the rope. Now, they must be a little bit concerned. But Duran has looked good since the knockdown. <laughs> Round three. Boxing finesse out the window. They're throwing haymakers. Duran and the dark trunks. The green trunks with the white border, if you're looking in color. De Jesus has the blue and white trunks. Both boys are working the body as well as the head. Every time Duran gets hurt, he just shakes his head and laughs. So if you see him laugh, he probably got hurt.
De Jesus seems to have gone back to the calmness and the boxing he exhibited in round one. Because a good Duran shot on the chin can, you, can make you forget your boxing. Tejeso shortening up on his punches on the inside. A minute to go in round three. I think it's just as well for Duran that the title is not at stake tonight. He could be a worried warrior at this point. Ten seconds to go in this round. You watch. Square Garden, Roberto Duran of Panama, the lightweight champion in the green trunks, the dark trunks with the white stripe. His opponent is Saban de Jesus, the Puerto Rican lightweight champion. The world title is not at stake in this 10-round bout. De Jesus picking his spots and picking them well. De Jesus is outboxing Duran at the moment, beating him to the punch. I think Duran was shaken again. Beautiful boxing by De Jesus. You can hear the crowd whooping it up. Duran is trying to get De Jesus to slug with him, and he's kind of succeeding at this point. And that could be a mistake. Less than a minute to go in round four. Jesus keeps us cool. Ten seconds to go in round four. Duran was rocked again. There's the bell. Well, 
Well, we've had four hectic rounds of boxing or fighting. Let's see uh, if we can replay part of that last round. You see where uh, De Jesus beat his man to the punch, caught him off balance? De Jesus in the blue and white trunk. And Duran, as you see, was rocked for a moment. But he did not go down. Arthur McCanty looks like he's sprinting to the scene. Round five, Madison Square Garden, Esteban de Jesus. Probably ahead at this point because of his first round knockdown of Roberto Duran. De Jesus in the blue and white trunk, Duran in the green or dark trunk. Arthur McCanty, the referee, gets him apart. And De Jesus will be warned for hitting on the break. He apologizes. That was a meaningless punch. I hope you didn't miss the first round. It was a sizzler with Duran coming out wide open and being dumped almost immediately by De Jesus' left hook. And at the end of round four, Duran almost went down again. And Duran nailed his opponent that time. And well. Two minutes to go in round five of a 10 rounder. Duran, the lightweight champion, the title not at stake, I say that again. Duran won the title last June from Buchanan and scored two one-run knockouts in the interim. He was almost one-rounded himself tonight, but he got up and is still battling. A minute to go in round five. Neither boy has used the jab to much advantage tonight. Probably because they've been in close most of the time. Duran doesn't seem to have the zip he had in the Buchanan fight. Ten seconds to go in round five. You watching? At the ringside, round six at Madison Square Garden. Esteban de Jesus, the Puerto Rican lightweight champion, ranked third among the world's lightweights in the blue and white trunks. Lightweight champion Roberto Duran in the green and white trunks, or the dark trunks if you're looking in black and white. Duran down for the first time in his career in round one from a left hook by De Jesus. Arthur McCanty, the referee. It's about that's moving fast. A 10 rounder. De Jesus taking charge again. Robert, Roberto Duran, who was such a sensation in the Buchanan fight, hasn't got the same crispness tonight. And I'm not going to say Merry Christmas either.
And I'm still wondering about the fact that Duran is five pounds heavier than when he fought Buchanan. He was a, a tiger that night. To Jesus again scoring heavily with less than a minute to go in round six. to go. Jesus making Duran miss, outscoring him. Duran can still win this fight by a knockout or even possibly by a decision. But at the moment, he's behind as far as my scoring is concerned, and that's unofficial. Ten seconds to go on the round. Looking in at the corner of a statement to Jesus, his manager Gregorio Benitez in front of him, had another fighter on the card tonight, his son Gregorio, or Gregory Benitez, but he lost in a six round close decision bout to Villamar Fernandez of the Dominican Republic. Gregorio hopes to break even on the evening by winning this big bout with his fighter Esteban de Jesus. <laughs> Round seven at Madison Square Garden. Duran came out as if he meant to end it quickly. He's in the dark or the green trunk with the white stripes. But he's, again, he's being belabored with rights and that solid left hook by Esteban de Jesus in the blue and white trunk. De Jesus is fighting a calm, planned fight. And he has got Duran off his game. Duran scored well with that right up a cut to the breastbone. De Jesus face rarely changes expression in the ring. Duran will smile, growl, scowl, grimace. Arthur McCanny gets him apart again. Two minutes left in this round. Round seven. That left hook has been a potent weapon for De Jesus to the body and to the chin. Many of Duran's punches have gone wild over the head, and he just sampled two more tired lefts that drove him into the ropes with a minute to go in the round.
Kenny, if you count on the former champion who lost to Duran is probably watching tonight and maybe learning something. And Buchanan is going to fight in the garden on December 4th, which Joe Bostic told you about at the start of the fight. A low punch by Duran that time. A very low punch, as a matter of fact. Ten seconds to go in the round. The referee warned Duran. You watch him Friday night at the fights only on Classic Sports Network. Don Dunphy at ringside as they come out for round eight of a ten-rounder. Lightweight champion Roberto Duran in the green trunks, the dark trunks with the white border and stripes. The Saban de Jesus of Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rican lightweight champion in the blue and white trunks. Roberto Duran has never been beaten. He's been in 31 professional fights. And I would say that winning streak is in danger right now. Real danger. De Jesus is exhibiting superb boxing skill. Left hooking, shortening the left hook, throwing it long, bringing up right uppercuts, doing everything but jabbing. Duran try, trying desperately, but maybe never recovering from that first round knockdown. Two minutes to go in round eight of a ten-rounder. Arthur McCandy talks to Duran. That's a waste of time. He doesn't understand English. Popped the head back by a left hook by De Jesus. Just look at the way De Jesus is picking his spots in there. It's an admirable performance. Plus, I can say that, and he's liable to go down with the next punch. That's the way Duran can hit. But a lot of the firepower has gone out of Rocky, apparently. One minute to go in round eight. is forced to hold on. Duran may have hurt him with that punch. Again, De Jesus holds on after being nailed with a good right. De Jesus smartly boxing his way out of this. He was in trouble. It's the first time he's been on the bicycle. Round almost over. Lightweight champion, whose title is not at stake in the green trunks with the white border. The 
Dave Bonda Jesus in the blue and white front. Now we saw Duran come back in round eight. Let's see if he can continue it. He hurt the Jesus a couple of times in the last round. The ten rounds out. This is the ninth round. Duran, when he surges, is still a little bit wild. Duran dropping his gloves an awful lot now. Jesus still keeping his up high. Both boys may be tiring from the action. The round is half over. Duran has plenty of firepower left, apparently. And laughing again or smiling. Jesus coming back with a minute to go. De Jesus smartly tying up his man, grabbing the elbows and stalling for a little time. Well, that's a pretty good maneuver. Crowd of 10,000 here, and they paid $62,000, and they're getting their money's worth. The round almost over. You watching? As we come up to the tenth and final round. The scoring in New York is on a round basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. All three officials, the referee Arthur McCanty and the judges Bill Recht and Harold Letterman will do the voting. In the first round, just almost as the bout got underway, De Jesus nailed Duran with a left hook and knocked him down and for a moment we thought it might be all over. Duran has gotten up and it's been a fine fight ever since. The lightweight title is not at stake. There's the tenth and final round. The referee, Arthur McCann, he has some touch gloves. Just to repeat again, the scoring by the two judges and the referee. On a round basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on a card. De Jesus had Duran down in the first round for the left hook. The champion whose title is not at stake took a mandatory eight down. I'm repeating this for anyone who may have tuned in late. And it's been one heck of a fight all the way. For most of the journey, De Jesus has outpointed Duran kept him off balance and beaten him to the punch. But on the last round or two, Duran looks as though he may have hurt the Jesus a couple of times. The Jesus countering beautifully there. And beating him to the punch again. Two minutes to go in the fight, two minutes.
Arthur McCanny gets them apart over into Jesus corner. Duran has never been beaten in 31 professional fights. And he has scored 27 knockouts. That record certainly is in jeopardy. One minute to go in the fight. Again, Mercanti getting him apart. Jesus doing the holding. Seconds to go. There it is. There's the final bell. Duran obviously disgusted with himself. is searching around us here. I'm going to get up on the ring apron. We hope to have an interview with Madison Square Garden's boxing director, Harry Marks, and if he can get through the surging crowd here. Just to recap the fight a little bit. Jesus put Duran down in the first round by a left hook. There were no other knockdowns, although Duran was rocked again in the fourth round. Now we're waiting for Joe Bostick, the fine ring announcer here at Madison Square Garden, to announce the result of the cards of the referee, Arthur McCanty, and the judges, Bill Rex and Harold Letterman. We're waiting for Joe Bostick now. Ladies Here and comes. gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision, Esteban de Hastu. There you have it. The winner is Esteban de Hastu, scoring a dramatic and sensational victory here in Madison Square Garden. Ending the victory streak of Roberto Duran, who had scored 31 fight victories in a row, and only a few months ago, last June, had won the lightweight championship of the world from Ken Buchanan. Now we're going to show the knockdown in the first round. In slow motion, Duran's first trip to the canvas. See that? So there you have it, a unanimous decision for Esteban de Jesus and one of the most startling upsets we have had in Madison Square Garden in a long, long time. We were in the box.